Hey guys, it's Miles here, and no matter what opinion you have on the world is whether or not everybody just a bunch of snowflakes or maybe that term is overused, I think we can all agree that there's big extremists on both sides that really hurt the name of the game for each side. I cannot believe for the life of me that this guy was disqualified because he teabagged a body. I mean, absolutely absurd, the soft world that we live in today, but also in the news, a pro player speaking out and showing a great video clip as to why the gold knockdown shield needs to be removed. All of that and much more in today's video, so make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Congratulations to Cosmo for winning our $2,000 1v1 Apex tournament yesterday. And hey, $1,000 if you can win a game of Apex Legends. Video is now up on my second Apex channel. Make sure to go check it out on the gauntlet. You guys can be a part of those videos as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first off, I wanted to make mention here, the very obvious one that we need to talk about. This was coming from Dilly. This guy's an eight-time Apex Predator, an absolute beast at the game. And by the way, excuse my five-month-old daughter screaming in the background if you do hear. Anyways, he said that his whole team got disqualified from all of Fate Legion's tournaments because he teabagged not only his teammates death box but the guy thought that it was an enemy death box but even if it was an enemy why is it that big of a deal that you're going to disqualify him from all tournaments people in algs were teabagging each other so why did the guy do this to ban him if you guys haven't seen this clip i'll play the clip I also like whoever tagged me in it who basically said i fainted from excess cringe so i couldn't even finish the video and honestly it is very cringe so cringe warning roll the clip twitch the terror terror day appreciate you sticking around yo okay dilly is um crazy penguins is disqualified I'm not taking that at all. Oh, he went over to uh, the dead body that they just killed, and he went and teabagged on the f***ing death box. Absolutely not. Will not tolerate that. Literally goes in f out of his way to jump on a death box to teabag it. Don't think so. I have a f***ing pan and pattern. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. Yes, we will not take that. Uh, they're trying to say that that was his own teammate. Yeah, they're saying that he teabagged his own teammate. So it doesn't matter, folks. Like, when you're in a tournament, you, you're in a professional tournament. You can't be doing it that. And something people need to really understand. Yeah, so, like, you can't do that. Just like I'm telling you, you're going to tell me teabagging my own teammate is toxic. All right, so then this is where we're going to shut the lobby down at this point because I'm not going to get into that one because absolutely it is. Uh, unfortunately, yes, disqualified because, yes, you cannot do that, folks. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship, 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 right? You cannot go and teabag your own teammates in any organized sports. So why would you come into a, 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 an organized tournament? and go and do something like that. So no, you cannot teammate bag your own teammates, or anybody for that matter. So do not teabag teammates in the future. Just because you can hide behind this and get to use this little thing, you're not going to do that in the real world, so don't. Don't do that. So as you can tell, he decided to make a safe space for all gamers, and apparently teabagging interrupts that. I think the best point made here is the fact that people were doing it in the ALGS. It's obviously a gamer thing to do. It's definitely not anything personal. He even talked about the people in Valorant who are basically trying to call out Riot and say that people need to be permanently banned for teabagging other bodies in Valorant. They were even going it as far to call it sexual assault. I don't know how you can actually interpret it that way. And that's why I said at the beginning of the video, no matter what side you're on on this, there's always big extremists on both sides who really make each side look dumb. PlayStation Gaming even tweeted out yesterday, said crazy how there's 22 sextillion planets in the known universe and we live on the one where gamers get banned for teabagging. So absolutely just absurd stuff. That clip was so cringe to even watch, honestly. And I can't believe that Respawn's giving these type of people, you know, tournament codes. By the way, these are the type of people who got private access to custom lobbies and yet you don't. So just FYI, Respawn favors these type of cringe people more than they do you. Just letting you know. Also in the news, now we know that the self-res gold knockdown shield is getting a little bit of an update as John Larson let us know a while back that they heard us loud and clear when it comes to the, you know, complaints about the gold knockdown. Now, I do want to note that most of the casual players did not agree with this as most of the pro players that seem to really want this thing removed. However, I do want to say when you watch today's clip, you will probably understand and see why this makes maybe a little bit of sense. Now, I'm not necessarily saying completely get rid of it, completely change it. I do think the gold knockdown provides some type of a hype factor when it comes to Battle Royale. When it comes to consistency, though, maybe it's not the best thing to have in the game. But clips like these really aggravate me when it comes to gold knockdown shields being in competitive gameplays let me know what you guys think and roll the clip go for it. don't take too much damage they, they have to all drop into us i circuit three wait swing out push up push up Oh my nice. god, nice. Oh, god. Dude, everyone has self-res, man. I think I'm gonna die. I don't even think I can- Oh my god! <laughs> oh 
my god, I got it off. I got it off. Wait. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Surfing on the knockdowns. That was so So as you can see, he literally almost lost the end game. Not because the guy outplayed him, not because the guy was better than him, all because he had a gold knockdown shield. And even though he should have been dead whenever he was down in any other normal situation, he wasn't because of the gold knockdown shield, and it almost gave him the win with no skill implemented whatsoever. All he did is hold the gold knockdown shield, and because he should have died, but he didn't, he was able to stay alive and just kind of hold the shield up, block the damage, turn around, and just makes Reptar take all of this zone damage and he could have very well died by not even really being outplayed just being out rng funny story enough i don't have the clip anymore but back in season two whenever i was doing pro scrimmages back when i was actually good at the game remember nrg absolutely fuming because they were in the end game with us and the guy was trying to finish me even though i had the gold knockdown shield and the zone was completely closed so there was literally the entire map was engulfed with the zone and i was actually able to win the game all because i had the gold knockdown shield and they died and got second even though they wiped the entire team they wiped even the other team they killed everybody but because i had the gold knockdown i was able to stay alive and get first place and i did not feel like i deserved it whatsoever unfortunately i only won two games in my entire pro scrims career and that was one of them so I, i'm not very proud of myself now at the same time i really don't want the gold knockdown just to be completely nerfed to the ground all because the pros say it i just don't really know exactly what the right solution is so that's why i'm very interested to see what your comments are down below now also in the news thornton smash got a huge viral tweet last night about seer so people are actually pushing for a seer nerf can you believe it and just a month before algs came around the corner people were like yo seer sucks seer's not good at the game he's completely useless in the game even exerto had an article about why asu explains why seer is a pointless pick in apex legends people knew that hey seer's garbage he's bad right well then all of a sudden algs comes around his watson is just popping off with seer and other people start to use seer as well as their you know composition going into algs and people seem to have some really good success with it well now all of a sudden he's too good he needs a nerf i really hate how the notion has become when it comes to nerfs and buffs is not necessarily how good or bad that legend is but how good can the best player in the world be with that legend because the thing is at this point there are some really good pros who basically have such good mechanical skill to where they bring out the best in the legend they cultivate that legend if you will and the average gamer is going to not really have that success with that legend therefore the average gamer may say that seer is a b tier or an a tier so all of a sudden when you put it in the hands of a pro player who's really 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 good and then in their mind it may be an a or s tier legend because they're really good they cultivate that legend to the best of their ability but just because that one person is absolutely insane with them doesn't mean that you know the entire player base of millions and millions need a nerf on the same legend as well just because three people found a way to be absolutely nutty with them then again if there's a situation where it's something that should not be in competitive play and only a couple people know how to do it then sure maybe make a tweak but regardless the conversation has gone from seer is absolutely pointless to now all of a sudden seer is overpowered and he needs to be nerfed this is what thornton smash said possibly two of the best apex legends players in the world imperial how and his watson play in algs and crush it with seer now people want him to be nerfed bro the majority of you are not playing like them seer is just fine a month before land asu said seer was nowhere near as viable as bloodhound and only filled a small specific niche if you play super aggressive before you disagree with this post ask yourself as skilled as you are are you asu level good i just love how the apex community seems to be so very persuasive like as soon as something hits the press it's like oh nerf it to the ground baby apex fans always have their pitchforks ready they're always ready to go at any press of a button you say the words and they're ready to riot on one hand i love it because it's entertainment it's fun to watch but on the other hand it's kind of ridiculous to think that a legend who's definitely not been the most viable all season according to most people all of a sudden they're like yeah he needs a nerf because imperial how and his watson are pretty good with them so that's why i'm interested to see what your opinions are on seer fiascos and also the other legends that may need a nerf or a buff let me know down in the comment section below or any topic of today's video i'm very interested to see what you have to say and don't forget your time on the 10,000 apex coin giveaway is coming to an end friday we're picking the winner and also the 1,000 dollars if you can win a game of apex legends is on the gauntlet channel link is down in the description below go check it out i'll see you in the next one it's my second apex channel and until next time i'll see you later gators